More than 10,000 nurses and midwives sought clearance from the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association to leave Ghana for better opportunities abroad. This is according to data from the association that captures the phenomenon from January to July 2023. In response to this trend, a former senior advisor to the Joint UN Programme on HIV AIDS, Dr. Emilio Temple, has cautioned against speculative overseas escapades for greener pastures. So speaking at the launch of her memoir titled Perseverance, there's more in this report. The year, a significant number of Ghanaians have embarked on journeys to advanced countries in pursuit of better opportunities driven by the economic constraints in the country. According to statistics provided by the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association, from January to July 2023, more than 10,000 of their members have requested clearance form from the association to travel abroad. Out of this group, approximately 4,000 have successfully relocated to other countries in pursuit of greener pastures. In response to this increase in trend, a former senior advisor to the Joint United Nations Program on HIV AIDS, Dr. Emilia Timpo, advised young Ghanaians to ensure they have a well thought out plan before considering relocation. I think for anybody to think they're going out of the country to find an easy pasture, forget it. If you can, get your first degree here because the, the quality of the first degree you will get in a Ghana institution surpasses what you can get in a lot of other places outside. Get your first degree and then look to go do your master's or go somewhere else. Don't go to go sell in the market in Europe or the U.S. That's, that's not a productive use of your time. Speaking about the inspiration behind the title of her memoir, Perseverance, which delves into her life journey, Dr. Timpo indicated that she chose to title because it better describes her life journey. My whole life has been about perseverance, you know, challenges every step of the way. Um, I couldn't think of a better word, you know, because, yeah, too many challenges and yet I felt that, I, you know, I always have to find ways around whatever the challenge was, you know. And you can only do that if you persevere, if you, you know, go against the mold, um, make mistakes along the way. And I said that it's okay to make mistakes. You're not going to be perfect and it's okay, but you have to look at the goal ahead and work towards it. Former chairperson of the National Media Commission, Nana Kwesi Jan Apentin, read excerpts of the book. But her A-level results in physics meant she could not gain admission to the medical school. She decided to participate in a year-long remedial program at Cape Coast University. But just in that year, the medical school refused to consider candidates from that program. Eventually, after crying for two weeks, she entered, she decided to enter Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology to read for a degree in agricultural science. Professor Emerita Techiwa Manu, who had the privilege of reading the book, pointed out that there are valuable lessons that everyone can learn from it. So this is about an individual life, but it's got lessons for all of us, you know. Perseverance means that there are difficulties, there are roadblocks, but you find ways to overcome them. And sometimes you, you have to like go lower if you like. You have to lower your expectations to be able to get to where we are. But also it's also about maintaining standards. Perseverance doesn't mean that you lower your standards of excellence, you know but you really struggled to get to it. The book highlights the power of perseverance in the face of all odds. Esther Nkrumah's report read to you.